So you've read the thumbnail, you've read the description. Why do I think that Cardano is going to be one of the outperformers for the next crypto market? I'm not just saying that. We've got stats to build it up. And we're going to analyze this step by step and compare it against other cryptocurrencies. So how can we position ourselves for the next bull run using Cardano? Stay tuned right to the end and we'll go through it together. So is Cardano a good buy for the next bull run? We're going to go through some basic step-by-step -step analysis here because it's simple, simple, simple. How can we position ourselves for the next run? We can compare it against other cryptocurrencies. We can compare how strong the Cardano community is. Have they got a strong community? What is the use case behind it? Is it within the top 10 cryptocurrencies? Because straight away you can see that it's sitting at number eight and it's got a market cap of 10 billion, 790 million, 285,276. One of the big players in the top eight. So let's get back to basics. Let's get back to the charts. How much has Cardano dropped from its all time high in comparison to other cryptocurrencies? Let's take a look. You can see we just get our measurement indicator up here from the top in euphoria to the bottom, disbelief. We've got a 92.65% drop on Cardano. So it's been absolutely battered by the bear during this crypto winter. So how does this compare against other cryptos? We can see XRP. How much did XRP drop from its top? We know that a lot of news about XRP. We've been covering a lot about XRP on this channel. 85% drop to its low, to its bear market low. And to where it is now, it's sitting at 52.33%. So we'll check Cardano out again and see where that is in comparison to its all-time high. And then we'll go over a little trick very shortly and put some FIB retracements on there to see how far it is from the major 618. So let's see how much Bitcoin's dropped first. From its top to its bottom, Bitcoin dropped 77%. To where it is now, that's a 54% drop. 54% drop to Bitcoin. Right, back to Cardano. Let's get Charles out the way quickly. What we want to do is we want to analyze how far it is to the 61.8% retracement on a Fibonacci. So we'll get a Fibonacci on there, top to bottom. You can see already how far down Cardano is compared to Bitcoin and XRP in our examples. It's got a lot of room to move. It's held a strong base down here. Risk to rewards a lot better. So compare it with XRP, XRP's run. Compare it with Bitcoin, Bitcoin's run. Cardano still hasn't run yet. So how far away is Cardano to the 61.8 retracement? Let's get the measurement tool up from where it is now to the 618. You see, look. 414% just to the 618. That's not even all-time highs. Stick it to all-time highs, 695%. Let's compare Bitcoin and let's compare XRP to find out whether they're as good buy as Cardano and see how much they're running comparison. So XRP is testing the 382 retracement. And how far is XRP to the 618 from current price action? 76%. When you're comparing that to over 400 with Cardano, that's saying something. So Bitcoin, we'll do the same with Bitcoin, 61.8% retracement. And where are we on this? It's not even tested the 382 yet. That could be a good level for Bitcoin to get a rejection from the 382. So 382 on Bitcoin sitting at 36,169. We won't digress. How far is it to the 618? Let's have a look. 55%. So you can see the risk to reward here, look. You can see the risk to reward. If you've got tight stops below the low, you're not going to lose as much. To the 61.8, 510%. So that's it, guys. A brief, brief, brief analysis, just using simple Fibonacci and how far that they've dropped in comparison to other cryptocurrencies to get a good risk to reward going forward and position yourself for the next bull run. So remember, guys, this is just something that I'm doing. It's not financial advice. If you do find it useful, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you'll be notified when I bring out my next content. Take care. Goodbye from me.